Hello everyone, and welcome to my video on the top 15 films that I would love to get. So I've already teased this video is coming last video, which I have so much fun making these. So this is going to be a regular thing on my channel now. So, we're going to start from the 15th, um, all the way up to the first, the one that I'm going to be getting for tenor already. So, the f number 15 is the Army of Darkness, which if you don't know what the Army of Darkness is, it is the third Evil Dead original film. Then we had the fourth one, which I've got, which is Evil Dead here. What an amazing fucking remake. The original was fucking shit. But this one is good, guys, put that up. Put that up. So, um, so yeah, Army of Darkness. Okay, so the second one. I hate this fucking film so much. But, Batman and Robin. If you don't know, Batman and Robin is fucking garbage. One of the worst Batman films like, ever to come out in Greece's. To ever grace this earth. It is so bad. So, the only reason why I want it is because I can complete the original Tim Burton Batmans. Because I've got Batman, Batman with Batman. And i got Batman Returns up there and Batman Forever up on my 200 shelf. I've only got a couple because these are the ones I'm going to watch today. Um, so yeah, Batman and Robin, shit. But it's to complete the Tim Burton franchise. Which, if you don't know, I think I might have something that makes me can't not finish the collection off. So I'll have to get them all. It actually bugs me. It actually makes me want to just work my arse off to get so much money to buy all the fucking old films that I want. Like, just everything that I need. Like, like the Blair Witch came out. I was like, oh, 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 I remember me his birthday's coming out for Mum, please come over. Can I, can you buy us the Blair Witch? The new Blair Witch, you're like, all right. So, yeah, that we fucking, we love, we're lucky there. It didn't bug me for too long. It bugged me for two months. I don't think that was very long. But then, oh, it's so bad. I've only got one poltergeist. Now there's four. Four poltergeists. So I'm missing three. It's fucking... Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I need to come down. This is not a time to be angry. This is a YouTube video. I do not want to ruin myself more than that though eyes and Draco shell. Oh my god, please. Don't don't tell me about that. I also upgraded the site which I'm gonna be uploading after my movie film things where I'll be doing a rating snakes that there's nothing else to do. Sunday which will be a massive upload screen then. Because I'll be going I'm not, I won't be uploading Friday. Reason is I will be at college, for my first day at college. Yeah, I'm, so, I'm um, new experience for me, so you know. But yeah, so that's Batman and Robin. If the only reason I would love to pick series is if I don't pick the series, I'll kill myself. Okay, so we've got the Evil Dead 2 next. Now, this is the, another reason. Got the Evil Dead 1 and Evil Dead remake, but I don't have Evil Dead 2 or Army of Darkness. That's another reason why I've got Army of Darkness. So, I want the Evil Dead 2 and the Army of Darkness to complete the Evil Dead franchise, but it doesn't matter because I've got a good one. We have got the good one. The Evil Dead here. Yeah. Don't really give a shit about the Evil Dead, to be honest, but you know. Got a of... Okay, this one, it talks about a sequel. This is one of the ones I talked about a sequel in to the sequel video that you guys had. This all, if you guys saw that first, it's uploaded now. But the film I'm on about is Lights Out. It's a horror film where they, if they turn the lights off, the monster comes and gets them. Which I'll just put down because I really, as I said, I really wanted to see the original. Okay, Unbreakable. Now, this is a Bruce Willis and Samuel Jackson film. If you did not know, it's in like an M. Night Shyamalan like series thing. Which, and uh, the next film is coming out later, because that's a fucking amazing film. It's about a superhero that has, like, powers and shit. It's, just, jig, it, it's not like anything he's really... Jigsaw. So we've got Jigsaw next. The reason why this, this is the, not the only one up here. Saw's gone a bit later. It's because Jigsaw's quite new. I don't really care about it as much as I care about Saw. Okay, so, 
got now here's the next film, Neon Night Shyamalan, which I was on about. It's called Split. Then they're, they're classified in the same universe, which I think is fucking amazing. I want it, I want it, I want it now. That's all I've got to say. Insidious 4, The Last Key. Oh my god, The Last Insidious, it's pissed me off. I thought I was fine, I thought chapter 3 was here, because it took longer to release chapter 4. So I was like, chapter 3, that's fucking it, that's gotta be it, yes, yes. And then the trailer dropped as soon as I was celebrating, I was like, Where's the window? <laughs> you know. Okay, this is technically a TV show, but it is technically classified as a movie now, and it's called Doctor Who the Movie, that's why I put my pen up there, because I put the Doctor Who posters up there. So yeah, just because it's a movie and it's from one of my favorite, of my favorite TV shows, and I'm not going to watch the new season, I don't think, it's not going to be as great as the others. Psycho 2 is the next one. So I've got Psycho 1, 50th anniversary. I want to try that second one there. I want to try the second one. Okay, so next one. Annabelle 2, The Creation. It's one of the best films I have seen in this cinema. I'm not even joking, it was so good. So fucking good. Like, it looks insane. It looked insane. The, the jump scares weren't actually noticeable, except for one or two. They were quite, oh, you know. Just put the film a bit down because I don't want to know when the jump scares are going to happen. That's why films like Grave Encounters and shit works everywhere, you know? So jump scares are like. There's no music, there's no nothing. Just straight up jump scare. Okay, we're going back to. The 1970s for this one. Now this one is a bit, bit of a controversial one. Since now we're into the top four, so this one is quite a controversial one. But I'm going to go with Invasion of the Body Snatchers with Donald Sutherland. The ending is possibly the coolest ending I have seen to cinema. Like, like I was shocked when I I thought he was like a good guy, and then you know the ending happened, and I was like. We did not witness that happen, so that's why I want to watch it again, but I want to own it, so I can watch whenever I feel like. Okay, so this one is quite a controversial one as well, you might be like, the series is why I'd recommend going to Chucky, or the Friday the 13th. No, I'm going to go with the Saw box set. Yes, I want every Saw in one. Bit, you know, guys, you guys are going to get burned, probably. Oh, oh, so it's so shit. Why do you like it? Why? I think it's probably one of the coolest ideas that have ever been released to cinema. I like original ideas. That's why the next two are going to be phenomenal ideas. Yeah, you know. Remember, all these things on this list ain't bad films, except for, except for Batman and Robin, but you know. Okay, so let's go into top Two. Okay, so second place. These were so close, so close. To I was I was literally gonna buy this. The cube. You know, fifteenth anniversary edition. You know what the cube is? It's where they're stuck in this massive cube thing where there's like five doors, including one down, one up, and one each side, and also the one you came through. You've got to get through them without activating. Any of the ones with the traps in them, so that they like there's only like one or two good doors, and then the rest have like traps in them. Like there was one trap at the beginning where he went in and he got sliced to bits, and it was just you know it's, it was quite a good film for the time it was made. So that means this is one I'm going to be buying off Amazon today. Ready to hear it? Don't look now. I'm going to go into what it is, if you guys don't know, it's another 1970s film by the same guy that made Invasion of the Body Snatchers, Donald Sutherland, actor. He keeps, seems to be in the best 1970s films. They're horror related. So he's in Invasion of the Body Snatchers, he was in Now, now he was in Don't Look Now. Don't Look Now is where they, they, they lost their daughter, their daughter died from drowning. Only they, they start seeing, they move to Venice. 
where they only start seeing this woman walk around with a coat that the, the mother uh, and their daughter drowned in. Then what they did was they went up, they were followed her, but then he sent his wife home. And the ending is so good. Guys, spoiler, spoiler now, spoiler now. Click off if you don't want to hear spoiler on what the ending is, but I have to talk about it. So basically, it wasn't the door, it was a dwarf bitch. It's like an ugly little wrinkled dwarf bitch, and she just came after him with a meat cleaver and just, and just killed him. And then the premonition they saw with the boat going down the thing for his, someone's funeral, they found out it's actually his funeral, but he died before he could do anything about that. So yeah, hope you guys did enjoy this video. I know it's quite different videos, but I do love film. I love it a bit. That's why I want to talk about the top five from there. My top five things that I own. I'm going to quickly go in order. Don't look now, though. This is a break. Guys, get into the hype of being released another one. Bye-bye.